Rachel and I'm from The Fold Line and this week's video we're going to be talking about bus cut options. Now this is a topic that we get emailed about a lot and sometimes it's been tricky to navigate when you're looking at a sewing pattern, knowing what bus cup size you are, what bus cup size the designer has drafted the pattern for and whether you need to make any adjustments. So the first thing that I'm going to do is show you how to measure yourself properly to work out what your bus cup is. Now I should say before we start that bus cups might not match your bra size. So whatever bra size you have is not an indication of what bus cup size you are. So don't worry about trying to work that out and what relates to what. We're just going to ignore your bra size and just focus on your measurements to work out your bus cup size. So we need to take two measurements. The first is the high bust. And if you take your tape measure, I'm going to demonstrate here on my dress form, you want to put it underneath your armpits and take the tape measure around to the top here. So I'll just turn it to the side so that you can see that. So it'll, you'll see that it forms a diagonal line that goes around your back and then up here under your arm to the front and at the front you want it to go above your bust. So take the tape measure, work out your measurement. You want it to be tight, yeah, close fitting but not tight so that you can't breathe. So don't just try to relax your body and then you should be able to put you know a kind of finger comfortably under the tape measure but not too much room. Really. So this measurement here is coming out at 38 inches. So that's your high bust. And we'll be coming back to that um, later. The second measurement that you need to take is your full bust. So this goes around your bust line. It might not necessarily be across where your nipples are, um, but it wants to be the fullest part of your bust. And ideally you take both of these measurements without a bra on. Um, because sometimes padded bras can add on um, extra um, length, or, you know, extra size to the measurement. So again, I'll turn this around to the sides so that you can see. So you want to make sure that the tape measure goes straight around the side, so it's not going up this time. And you can see that I've placed it here at the fullest part of the bust. So this should be straight under your arm and then all the way around the back. And then let me show you at the front what it looks like. So you take the tape measure round here and your armpit, and then make sure that it's coming across at the fullest part of your bust. Now, it's a bit harder to do on the body form, um, but you get the idea here that it's the fullest part. So that measurement comes out at exactly 39, 39 inches there. Just make sure it's straight across the front there, and that's 39. So the difference between your high bust measurement and your full bust measurement is what gives you your bust cut measurement. And in this case, we had 38 inches for the high bust, 39 for the full bust, so that's a difference of one inch, which would make this body form an A cup for the purposes of working out um, what size you should cut out for your bust cup option. So you might be wondering what it means if you've got a bigger um, cup size than that. So for example, if the difference between your high bust and your full bust was two, three, four, five inches. So in the blog post, we're gonna make a list that shows you how to work that out. So two inches is a B cup, three is a C cup, four is a D cup. So that should help you give an idea when it comes to looking at patterns, what your cup size is. Now you might be also wondering why it's important to know this. For example, if you have a much bigger full bust measurement than your high bust measurement, it might mean that when you come to look at the size chart, you pick the wrong size of garment to make. This is particularly an issue around the shoulders. So if you look at the chart and pick the size that fits your um, full bust, say for example, that's 45 inches. If you've got a difference of say three or four inches between your high bust and your full bust measurement, that means you'll probably be picking a size of garment that's much bigger 
than the rest of your torso and then can be too big around the shoulders and around the waist. So by working out this calculation, it means that you can then choose the size of garment that actually fits you at the shoulders where the high bust will be. And then you can work out whether you'll need to make an adjustment or not. Most designers draft their patterns for a B or C cup. So that's a two or three inch difference between your high bust and your full bust. If you are smaller than this, then you might need to do a small bust adjustment, or if you're larger, a full bust adjustment. And there's lots of tutorials online that can show you how to do this. But it does involve pattern drafting and you know, cutting open the pattern, adding more or taking um, some away. And this can be quite intimidating, particularly if you're new to sewing. Fortunately, over the last couple of years, there have been several designers that now offer different bust cup options for their patterns. And this is great because it means you can purchase a pattern, you can work out your bust cup size, and then you can choose the bodice that's been professionally drafted for you specifically. And this is, this is great and it'll save loads of time and a hassle of you having to make a small or a full bust adjustment. So now I'm going to show you how to search our website to find patterns that have bust cup options and also talk more about some of the designers that offer this throughout their range. Welcome to the Foldline website and I'm now going to show you how to find sewing patterns that have different bust cup options. If you click on women's and then either dress or top, I can show you how to filter these options. If you scroll down to dress details and click on show more, here is an option for patterns with bust cup options and there are 114 patterns at the moment. And these are all listed here. If we scroll down, let's take a closer look at one of these patterns. This is the Jade Wrap Dress by Jennifer Lauren Handmade. On every product page, we have additional information about cup options and different blocks and size ranges. Then we'll add an extra note here under sizing. You can see here that Jennifer Lauren Handmade offers two cup options, C and D, across her two size ranges. And there's additional details here, but let's take a look at the size chart. This is really useful, not all designers do offer this. You have the original size chart and the curved size chart here with high bust measurements and then your different cup options. Earlier in this video, I measured my body form and the high bust measurement was 38 inches and the full bust was 39. So if we look at this size chart, you can see that it'll fall between a size 14 and 16. In this situation, we'd always recommend going up a size and then you can always make an adjustment to the pattern. So once you've worked out what cup size you'll be from the size chart, you can use that to select the correct pattern piece from your PDF or paper pattern and sew up your garment. I also want to show you how you know which designers offer these different bus cup options. If you scroll further down our filter options and click down on brand and show more, you can see here are all of the different designers that offer bus cup options. Some designers have recently started doing it, so they might only have one or two patterns with this option. And then others are more established, like Cashmere and Itch to Stitch and so over it, who have lots of patterns with different bus cup options. So if you're specifically interested in one designer that you like, then you can click the option here and you'll just see the options from that designer. And that's it. If you have any questions for us about bus cup options, then please do let us know. But we'll be including more information in the blog post. Thanks very much for listening and we'll be back soon with another blog post.